I think if you've lost a sense of touch, it's almost incomprehensible how you would interact in normal life. That loss must be so profound. Touch and feeling is probably the most important thing we do in prosthetics. The unique thing about Blatchford is we have almost all the different disciplines and expertise within the company. Our customers are essentially lower limb amputees and anybody who has a lower limb mobility. One of which is Bernie Broad, who is the Invictus team captain and has two prosthetic limbs. A good prosthetic limb is one you're not conscious of. It just becomes part of you. The way you feel the environment, the way you walk outside, is changed and altered. So we spend a great deal of time trying to understand how the limb interfaces with the body. Prosthetic limbs have generally been constructed by combining individual components in isolation, and they'd be designed separately. The Lynx is the first limb to take the advanced technology and almost rewrite the rulebook. It's like a, an artificial nervous system for the leg which is designed to exchange information between the ankle and the knee joint, for example, which combines and integrates with the body. I think it's often been said by many people who look into the future, in particular this field, that at some point there'll become a blur between the boundaries of prosthetics or assistive technologies in the human body. I still think we've got quite some way to go. It's changed an awful lot in the last 10, 15 years. If you think of you know, smartphones now and the level of computing power, the technology is going to become more accessible for all amputees.